Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 6th till the 12th of July. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back my Cyber Angels and of course new people. You came in at the same level as Scorpio, the ninth place and we you had uh, 21 likes on your uh, video so um, thank you very much for your likes I do appreciate it but if you want to be first keep on going and give me those likes I'm sorry if I sound a bit tired but I've been doing videos all day and yesterday so I'm sorry that they are out a little bit late but I um, had uh, personal issues um, the, uh, situation due to personal situations I couldn't go live on Wednesday but I did go live on Friday and I do set out notices on Instagram, Facebook and under the community tab. So keep an eye on that if you're not getting notified by YouTube yourself. But you can also uh, check whether you uh, are rightly notified by clicking on the bell and click on all. Then you should be getting notified. So for the new people, welcome if you've landed on this channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you should be notified. If you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading uh, with me or an extensive reading, uh, then have a look for the information below the video in the description box or in the top right hand corner you will see a white circle with an eye and that will take you to my website. I will be putting up a new reading as I've been asked to do crystal ball readings. Yes, I do. And I use the crystal ball and also to clarify and see whether the we've got all the information from the crystal ball with the tarot, uh, Lenormand cards and oracle cards. And there's a lots more other readings there as well. When I do go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I give away free cards. And I also answer questions that are supported by donations. That is a super chat or a super sticker. I'm also using, I use, usually use the nine card spread in an extensive reading. And I'm using that this week as well. Like I've done, done for the last couple of weeks. This is the Querent card or the overall energy. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And the clarification card. Uh, being uh, clarifying the three cards around it or vice versa. You've got the angel feather and you've got the crystal oracle and the answer of the angels to go with this reading this week. Okay, let's start off with the first card and um, I'm going to use it as the querent and the overall energy. You have the page of pentacles. Perhaps you have been waiting for news. News that is durable and for long term. That could be with a relationship. This could be also with regards to work. Something that you've invested in or something that you are hoping to hear about. Like if you want to get pregnant, then perhaps you might be waiting from the news from the GP or the gynecologist to say whether you are or whether you're not. This could be about a job interview that you've been to um, and whether you've got the job or not. Or this could be if you're a student, this could be uh, if you've done an exam, whether you've passed or not. Wow, this news will change your life as it is for durability and long term. And you've got an other uh, pentacle card and that is the Knight, Knight of Pentacles. And again, he's slow but steady. You could be meeting the Page of Pentacles is a Capricorn, so you could be meeting a Capricorn but don't exclude Virgo or Taurus. Again, with the Knight of Pentacles, you could be meeting one of these three and the Knight of Pentacles also brings in news just like the, the page. So this could be on Monday or this could be throughout the week as the page is the theme card. You might be getting more than just one message. Whoa, nice one. 
I hope it's going to be good news. It is giving you sleepless nights, though you are worried about it. But something is coming to an end. A phase is coming to an end. So I think there will be a new beginning of sorts, a new phase. Don't worry about it so much. Don't be, don't fears. Usually our fears don't come through. Put your stress or your fears, give your fears to the divine and the angels and they have your back so that you can have a sleep, a good sleep in the night and rejuvenate and so be bright for that new beginning. Then we have on Friday we have the two of wands. You are making plans and most probably big plans at that for the future. And I think that could be uh, your plans can only come to uh, realization once you've had this news. So big changes and I think you're going to be pretty happy because uh, at the weekend you have the Ace of Cups. That means a new love, new passion. New love can be a new person if you're not hooked up or uh, if you are living together, this could be news of perhaps getting married. The next step, wow, something that you're passionate about and that you will l uh, nurture. And so if it is passion, that it will change into love. Because the cups stand for love, passion, nurturing, caring, um, sensuality, sexuality. And you might even feel sexy at the weekend or extra beautiful or handsome because you might be nurturing yourself for this new beginning perhaps you've changed your your attitude and you've had help and um, you've done the work like a workshop on yoga or a workshop on getting to know your higher self and you're waiting have I passed this and I think you have. You have learned how to nurture yourself. And remember, once you love yourself and you nurture yourself, then you are ready to love others and nurture others. So that a passion is a hobby. Perhaps a, a hobby is turning into a job. Perhaps you've applied for a, a, pa a patent, an idea of yours that you're passionate about and it's coming through and it will be delivering dividends when it becomes your job. Awesome. The first corner card that we have is the crossroads which is depicted in a splitting staircase. You might have even choices as you have two uh, news cards. So you might have put your idea or you might have applied for more jobs so you might have more answers coming back. Now my advice is the angels, I said your angels have your back. You've got 22 here, that's the angels um, talking to you, that's giving you a sign. This is also the queen of pentacles, that's a Leo, it could be a Leo. So they might be giving you a news, so you might be choosing between an earth sign or a fire sign. I'm not really doing the um, cartomancy or the numerology, but if something jumps out like this, that's a big message. That's the angel saying, make the right choice. Make something that is steady and slow and um, will stand you in good stead for a long time, long term, so that you don't lose your passion Ooh, or love for this. It will grow. When you're passionate about something, it will grow because you will nurture it and you will work hard at it to maintain it. Now, there might be somebody that is jealous about uh, of you because we've got the bear and we've got an institution. This could be a school or this could be an institution of education. This could be a municipality. This could be that you might become a member or applied to become a member of a professional body that is also an institution and you're waiting news from them that whether you're accepted or not especially if you're starting your own business okay 
so somebody might be jealous around you but you can the bear stands his ground the bear is big and strong and heavy right like Taurus he protects what he is dear to him and what he's passionate about and what he loves like that nurturing side will come out and he will roar and fight for what he believes in and that's typically you Sagittarius you protect what is what you love as well okay but luck is on your side you're not scared for a challenge <laughs> definitely not because you are a fire sign you stand up for what you believe and you go into action uh, for what you want and for what you believe Wow that's why you're making plans and you're not letting anything happen to chance you're not letting a third party muck this up for you good 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 you're standing strong you're in balance two two also means balance is required you might even form a partnership with the two of ones okay and that could be at work or something that you're passionate about because the ones stand for action passion logic creativity so there you go it could be with a friend as you've got the dog the dog means a trustworthy friend a loyal friend and you've got 18 come something is coming to an end so where there is an end there's a new beginning and we've got the 10 of hearts here so you are really passionate you are emotionally fulfilled perhaps a reunion with family or friends or a group of uh, colleagues look at this group there could be eight of you and with you nine perhaps you're thinking of getting together Woo! like I said an end you've got two nines so the angels have your back also with the 22 Wow this will stand you in good stead for your health this will give you um, a boost in your ego this will uh, certify that you are strong and that you can stand your ground you know what you're on about this will in get the stress levels down as well relax look at that rainbow heaven and earth is connected so your ancestors this could be grandparents or parents are sending you a message don't worry we are there with you don't feel out of sorts okay I think you one of your dreams is going to come true this week Sagittarius so don't have sleepless nights talk to somebody that you trust okay talk to somebody that you trust stand your ground you don't have to defend yourself all the time walk away from other people's drama so that you don't get stressed go out into nature more and get relaxed and meditate or contemplate sit on a bench somewhere in a park or right by water and think just relax and enjoy the the birds singing and you've got robins here so they're they're my holy birds because the story is it was like a bird landed on the shoulder of Jesus when a drop of blood fell from his crown of thorns and dropped on the chest of this bird and that's how the robins um, started to exist and that's why he's a holy bird know that spirit is with you you've got three signs here saying that they are with you two nines 22 and the uh, rainbow and the holy birds four signs amazing the answer if you have a question the answer is the answer is maybe the grey angel feather well there is a saying in England when a lady um, ha when a lady says no it means maybe when a lady says maybe it means yes 
when a lady says yes it's no lady and I don't know why but that came up in me so the maybe could be a yes because it's meant to be a yes so don't worry give your issues over to the divine okay and something else has come up look at the mother spider yeah there could be somebody jealous in here so it's not your problem so let go of other people's drama take care of what you're busy with at this moment because there is an ending and there will be a good new beginning it seems to me that you're going up from a page from um, apprentice to the knight okay wow and we do have a queen here okay the queen of pentacles so that is confirmation that you are climbing the ladder Sh um, steady slowly but surely that is a strong message now the card that you had used to be my mum's favorite stone lapis lazuli and you've got 33 creativity and this, this is a beautiful color and uh, the color blue is the color of service is also the color of the throat chakra and this is a dark blue color but you've got three colors or four colors blue here in green green is the heart chakra blue is the throat chakra that's the light bluish that's Archangel Michael that's with you he's there to protect you and to bring you clarity he's also the angel of truth and you've also got the indigo color here a little bit I don't know whether you can see it it's really really dark blue and that's the third eye listen to your intuition if you need answers they will be given and three is creativity you are creative the essential meaning of this stone lapis lazuli take it with you and it will support you and give you the energy that you seek spiritual truth enlightenment meditation unity consciousness inner vision like I said the opening of the third eye and what did I say go outside and meditate and contemplate unite with the consciousness with nature around you what you seek is here if you push aside the distraction and fears created by your ego listen to that and become silent tune in and phone home to the conscious universe the source of all love strength wisdom the law of non locali locality ensures that you can gain whatever you need that is hidden from you when your mind is in non ordinary state of thinking and perceiving you can achieve this through the practice of meditation or contemplation and prayer reconnect with conscious universe now that's the message of this crystal you are overdue for renewal of your spiritual enlightenment okay so whatever you need will come to you they are there for you they will pass on the messages the angels or the ancestors this the tree is also health it will enhance your health let go of old things let the new knowledge come in listen to your intuition don't be scared don't doubt yourself and the angels answer is in the near future will I succeed in the near future if that's your question will I be partnered up in the near future will I pass my exam in the near future the near future could be between now and the end of the week okay um, 
but we've got pentacles here as well and pentacles it's and it hasn't got the queen so that would have been Virgo so no I think there will be a very good chance that you will succeed this week or early next week something is coming to an end because you have two nines you've got a ten an ending new beginning beautiful you are in balance your plans will come to fruition and also most probably with help from uh, a queen of pentacles or an earth sign or a water sign that is Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces so be open be open spiritually because the water signs are spiritual okay especially Pisces okay my darlings I hope you um, will take advice from if you don't um, don't shy away to seek advice okay this is the Queen of Pentacles could be a lady that you trust or that you see as a mother figure or a mother figure if you still have the mo mother or a grandmother okay I hope you've enjoyed this message Sagittarius and thank you for your likes take care have a wonderful week and success with your plans I hope you succeed let me know if you do love you all and take care thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life Monday Wednesday or Friday ciao ciao